how to spot a weakness, how to take advantage of an opportunity. These are my streets. And no kid out of Philly's gonna come here and school me. In my house, I get the lessons. I am Paulie Malinaki. Watch me hand Danny Garcia his first loss. Saturday night on primetime ESPN. Mm, yeah, Danny Garcia undefeated, and joining us now is the magic man himself, Paul Malinagi, uh, complete with the sunglasses, which uh, we, uh, I love the look. He said he had to keep mine because he's been wearing them all day and he doesn't want that red spot on his nose from the sunglasses, That's his, and, and we respect that. Uh, Paulie, Chris and I think that te working in television is the easiest, best job in the world. You went from boxing to calling fights ringside, and you left this cush gig to get back in the ring. Why? Well, well I didn't leave it. I'm still doing the television stuff, but it, but you're it's going, hard you're to getting walk hit away. again. Yeah, yeah. You know what it is, man. It's it's just hard to walk away. You know, I I I, I feel like I, I, being a fighter is my identity. You know, and and. Uh, I feel like I could still compete at a high level. Once, you know, if, if I said to myself, I cannot compete at, a high, at the highest level of the sport anymore, then I would say, you know what, I have this cushy job here. Let me just walk out into the sunset and, and, and uh, keep that job. But I still feel like I can compete at the highest level of the sport. And, and that's really where the adrenaline comes in from. Once you compete at the, at the highest level of the sport, at the world championship level, it, it's hard to walk away from when you still feel you got it. And, uh, I, I, you know, I, I'm training in the gym, and I still feel I got it, and, uh, and I'm here to prove that. Garcia's moving up in weight class, 147. Um, how do you think that might impact the fight? Um, you know, I'm a former 140-pound world champion myself, so uh, I, sometimes you just grow out of a weight class. You know, uh, he spent about six, seven or eight years at that weight class since the amateurs. I remember I was at 140 pounds for about eight years myself. And so it's kind of a progression you make sometimes. You just kind of, your body fills out. It matures a little more as you get older, and you kind of uh, grow out of the weight class. So I think, based on the experience that I had when I moved to the welterweight division, uh, it'll probably help him, and he'll feel better. You know, not that it's going to help him against me, because I feel like my style is going to be kryptonite for him. But, but regardless, I think overall he'll feel better at 147 pounds. I can remember the exact same feeling when I, fought, when I moved up from 140 to 147 pounds and, and just feeling like my body had oxygenated a little bit and it was able to keep a little more energy. You're 13 and 3 over your career when you fight in New York. Um, so how much of an advantage do you feel th that you will have Saturday night because you're fighting where you love to fight? Well, I, I don't know that the, the New York thing is an advantage in this fight because Garcia has also fought a lot at the Barclays Center in, in New York. Uh, I think we've, we've both made it a kind of a home for ourselves, but I think the, the crowd support that we'll both have is, is always an adrenaline rush, and I think that always motivates you and pushes you to get through the tougher times in the fight and pushes you maybe when you're a little bit tired and whatnot. You know, we, part of the reason you do this is to entertain fans and to hear that rush, and part of that rush of adrenaline is to hear that roar of a crowd when the action heats up and when it gets really intense. It's hard to describe, but that's the drug that keeps us in it. Hey, before we let you go, Polly, hold up your arms and tell us it looks like you're wearing a cast, but you're not. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I got a, I got some weights on my wrist. I just, it's just a custom I have had since, uh, since I'm an amateur. I, I wear uh, ri wrist weights on my, on my arms uh, for the whole fight week, and that's just to get used to a little bit of weight on my arms. And that way, when I put the gloves on at the end of the week to fight, my hands will feel a little bit lighter, and, and I'll feel like I'll have more control of them. Mm -hmm. All right, makes sense. Sure does. Give us a good one Saturday night. We'll be watching on ESPN. Good luck. Uh, sorry, I didn't hear that. Give us a good fight Saturday night. We'll be watching on ESPN. Oh, absolutely. All absolutely. Right, I plan on uh, putting on a great show, and I, I feel like the matchup is, in is intriguing for, for a lot of boxing fans and non-boxing fans, and uh, believe me, I'm, I'm more than ready for this fight Saturday night. Good luck. Thank you. Well, 17 knockouts. Who beat Peterson? Morales. Judah. Luke Matisse. Knocked out. Amir Khan. This Saturday on ESPN Primetime, watch me beat Paulie Malinaji in his hometown. Danny Garcia, the junior welterweight champ, ready to make the full time move up to 147 against Malinaji Saturday on the Premier Boxing Champions card in Brooklyn. Uh, Danny, first of all, what was it like for you trying to make weight and then fight at that lower weight? You know, um, I was a champion at, at 140. You know, I had five title defenses at 140. I've been at 140 pounds uh, since 2007 as an amateur. And, um, you know, my body was just, you know, I just couldn't make the weight anymore. I didn't feel strong anymore. And I feel it was time for me to move up to the 147 pound weight class where I'm going to be a lot faster, a lot stronger. And the people will see that um, Saturday night. 
how how is this change it getting a little extra weight how is it do you think it's going to help you in the ring on saturday yeah i, I know it's going to help me for sure um i'm gonna be a lot stronger um i've been feeling a lot stronger during training you know during running during conditioning during sparring so everything's just been going great during training camp and um i believe it will it will, it will show saturday night Hey, I used to be a wrestler. Anytime I made weight, I would immediately go for a sack of food and start eating. What's the first thing you do after you make weight? The first thing I do all the time, I go eat steak and asparagus. It's my favorite. <laughs> I've been doing it my whole, my whole, uh, my whole career. So some nice steak, uh, medium well, and uh, some asparagus. How much weight do you put on between the weigh-in and when you actually get in the ring for the fight? I believe I put on about... Uh, I should be going into the fight about 154 pounds, so I say about seven pounds, seven, eight pounds the most. Uh, I never gained more than eight to 10 pounds. What is the scouting report now on Malinaji? You know, I just gotta go in there and, and be smart. Be Danny Garcia, I gotta keep my hands up, use the jab, you know, I'm faster than him, I'm younger than him, I'm stronger than him, and I just have to go in there and be explosive and um, use my youth. What does he do well in the ring? I mean, if you're faster and stronger and smarter, what, what does he have? You know, he's a, he's a two uh, divisional world champion. You know, he's a hundred, former 140 pound world champion, former 147 po 47 pound world champion. So he's, he's an experienced fighter. He, he's been there before. He has a, he's crafty. He's a veteran. I, I believe he will go in there and try to use his jab, use his movement. But, uh, you know, we train hard and we're ready for whatever he brings to the table. Danny, when you hit a guy clean with a big left hook like you did with Eric Morales in 2012 where you knocked him through the ropes, what, what is that sensation like? Oh, man, when I land that left hook, um, I could feel it. It just goes through my shoulder, all the way up through my shoulder. And um, when I blink my eye and, and then I open my eyes and the guy's on the floor, that's how, that's how hard that, that when I feel that left hook land. And if it lands clean, I, I know I can't blink without, him go, without me seeing him go down. Do you know from just from the feel up into your shoulder how good of a, a punch it is? Yes, definitely. Um, as soon as when I lay in my, my left hook and I, and I turn all my body weight into it, and I know it's clean, clean on the chin, I know they're going down for sure. 30 and 0, Danny Garcia putting it on the line Saturday night on the Premier Boxing Champions card on ESPN. Danny, we appreciate the time. We'll be watching. Uh, thank you. Don't forget to watch ESPN at the Barclays Center. All right. We will. That place is going to be hopping. Still ahead.